All right, Sylvie's bead head pupa. Uh, this one's gonna be um, a little switched up. We've got a falling mill jig force hook here and uh, a slotted bead, a falling mill slotted bead, 2.8 millimeter on a 14 hook. Now this is gonna be mostly for a dropper off of our chubbies or bigger salmon flyers or whatever. Um, one quick thing about these hooks in particular, well, all the falling mill hooks uh, really, um, to date, I've never fished a hook that is as sticky as these guys. Um, I can't say enough good things about this hook. Uh, absolutely sold. The fish go nuts. They go airborne. Um, they don't come out. I mean, the landing ratio with these hooks is is like second to none. And I've yet to bend one out, even on big, big fish. And I'll, I'll uh, our next video with the lake fly, you'll see some some just some gaggers that were landed on these falling mill hooks and um, um, just awesome hooks. So anyway. Um, so slotted bead, it's going to be a jig style fly, start with thread right behind the bead and I'm going to build up a little bit of a thread dam here to try to keep it from moving around. These slots you gotta, you gotta turn it until it kind of fits up behind the eye and then once you, once you get it there, kind of build up a little thread dam there to keep it from wiggling around because the slots will We'll want to make it shitty. Um, our body is going to be pearl core braid. I'm going to tie in the olive one. Uh, the tan works really well too. Tan is probably the most popular, but we do in the spring, uh, like right now, we do um, surprisingly well in the olive. Um, and on other rivers, like you know the Mackenzie, the olives a, a winter too. So take the pearl core braid, just give it a little, a little light real quick, and then spin it, and that'll keep it from unraveling. Normally you don't have to do it this much, but I'm getting a little anal with my with my shape here. All right, so I'm going to just lay it on my hook shank here and just measure it. So on this one, I'm going to have it. We're actually going to flip it over in a sec, but I'm going to I'm going to have it just to the end of the just to the bend of the hook. So before I tie this on, I'm going to take a little zap up. And just dab the top of the hook. Lay it on. Loose wrap. And I'm just gonna kinda set this on there for a sec. Just hold it and make sure that zap, make sure it zaps itself to the hook. And I'm gonna trim this as close as I can here. down all right so we're good there we got uh, not going anywhere now for our legs and our body I'm gonna take some marilou I'm just gonna rip off the side here few pieces like that and cut it down give it a couple wraps and then wrap it since this is going to be upside down, this we're going to flip over the hook. I'm going to go straight up with the tips. Like three good wraps. And then... Sorry, Duchess is in with me, if you can hear. And then pull it back. And this is our legs. So we got our legs, I'm going to flip it over, 
and now when we actually fish this fly it's going to be this is going to it's going to ride uh, eye up so we've actually just created the bottom of the fly and for these little wing pads we're going to use starling and starling as of late has been pretty tough to get so we keep trying uh, hopefully hopefully it starts to ship again I don't know why every once in a while there's like shortages of different feathers and stuff but we'll we'll get them back hopefully uh, hopefully this week here all right I'm just gonna go through and pick pick a good size for these little wing pads so long I didn't expect it to. I'm going to tie one on each side. She's fighting me a little bit here. There we go. You get in position how you like. Do a few securing wraps. Trim off. And then for the head, this is just straight brown, super fine. You can use, uh, oh man, you can use, I mean, really any dark brown dubbing. When, uh, I don't know exactly if Sylvie used this, but when Ida Wild was tying this fly and now Umqua, uh, they're using, it looks like this super fine. Alright, now for an, an antenna, I'm just going to take one partridge feather, pull off a couple plumes. Or not plumes, but fibers. And you can curl this with your fingernail if you want. And you kind of get a little taper going there. I'm going to make like two wraps. Clip it. Doesn't take anything really to keep those in there. Over a whip finish, and we're done after you cement it. Good to go on this little jig style Sylvie's Caddis Pupa. I'm just gonna be, I mean, these things are dynamite deadly, uh, especially as droppers on the uh, salmon fly hatch. Have fun. Mm -hmm.